Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Once again, I am joined by the amazing Kayla from Oh Hello Living. I will have all of her things linked down below. You should go subscribe if you have not already. So Kayla has this cute little box of table topics. So we thought we would just pull some random ones so we could get to know each other a little bit and yeah. you could get to know us. So. We're just gonna randomly pick them and see how it goes. Let's do it. We're gonna figure out how many we do. We don't have a plan. We really. don't have a plan. We also wanna know what your answers yes. are in the comments. Yes. Let us know down in the comments. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hit me Ooh. With it. Oh, hit me. Ooh. <laughs> this is a, for me, the answer is controversial. That's why I'm like, wait, what? Oh. Okay. Which author have you read most? So the answer is J.K. Rowling. For yeah. Me. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, which I don't like that that's the answer because... But, like, currently, as adult me, oh. it's Kristen Hanna. Oh. She does, like, historical fiction books. Oh, I've never read it. Like, Nightingale. Books. You know, the other author I've read a lot of, like, I've read all of her books and she's a lot of them, is Jodi Pickled. Yeah. I don't know. Pickled, mm -hmm. Pickled? I don't know how to say uh, it. But yes. I love her Like, books. Sister's Keeper and Yeah, all that's, that like, stuff. the worst one, though. Not like That's it's the not, worst it's, one? It's not, not that it's bad, but it's, like, not... My, not even in my top There's five. so many better ones. Yes, there are. and But that's the one they chose to, like, make into a movie. Yeah. I also feel like the problem is I've drifted more into nonfiction books. Yeah. And so then I'm reading, you know, I read one, one. Yeah. versus, like... Someone who has a lot to say about their life. Right. <laughs> just, like, just keep going. Multiple. Here's 12, people. 12 volumes of my nonfiction stories. So I was born. <laughs> you two arrived. <laughs> What's the most entertaining concert you've seen? Britney Spears in Vegas. Really? Yes. Oh Super my gosh. Super entertaining. What is my most entertaining concert I've seen? 98 Degrees. I never saw them in concert. Yes. Was this in like 2001? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. And I loved it. It was, it was probably great. Baja Men opened. Ooh. Yeah. It was a, it was what a, a good opener. Speaking of people that you saw open, I saw Maroon 5 open for John Mayer when they were like nobody. Like babies. Like we were driving. I went with my dad and my stepmom because I was, you know, that cool kid. We're driving to the concert and I'm like, dad, who's opening for John Mayer? And he goes, um, I can't remember the name of the band, but they sing that This Love song that's yeah. on the radio. And I was like, oh, I like that song. Okay, cool. Whatever. They were like nobody then. That's And crazy. now, I mean, now I'm like obsessed with that. Yeah. Movie. As is right. Are you an early bird or a night owl? And I like this one because I know our answers are different. And what do you enjoy doing during that golden time? I always like to say, as the internet does, that I'm just an extremely exhausted pigeon. <laughs> okay, but in reality... Neither. I'm like a regular time of day human. Like, okay. I wake up at 9, I go to bed at 11. So yeah, I so little, you're pretty... I dabble. Yeah. I dabble. Yeah. No, I'm definitely an early bird. I fall asleep. I would be a night owl if I had to pick, if I'm not being a piece of if crap you're, about it. <laughs> if <laughs> you actually answer the question. <laughs> it's just not being difficult. Yeah, no. And what do you do with like that extra time at night when you're relaxing? That golden time is the card called it. Um, I always write. I always do stuff that's like for me. So I'll like write or do a craft or we'll play video games and like, because no one's bothering you at, at that time. But that's, yeah. and that's the benefit. The morning too is like, you can get through your emails the or whatever world's not before bothering they you. wake up. Yeah. 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 This is just like really deep. Okay. Where is change needed in your life? Watch your power sheets video. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> I mean, no, to really answer that question though, I need to like eat more vegetables yeah. and stop eating so many carbs and sugar and like not that carbs and sugar are bad I just in moderation I need a more balance I, yes diet. I need a more balance that that is what there it, is. it is um where's change needed in my life where is it not needed oh stop, <laughs> stop. it's not needed in your marriage <laughs> that's and true you and your husband marriage is quality um yeah, I think just being more active and, like, finding a exercise routine that, like, I can stick with or that I'm interested okay. in. Because I, like, jump around a lot. Like, I was running for a while and then I was doing yoga and I can't just, like, stick with anything. That's okay. You could just not stick with something that could and do, be the like... Thing. So I'm perfect and there's no change needed. <laughs> Good. What would you like to learn to do on your computer? I would love to know how to code. Like, I would love to learn, because I do website design and building websites, oh. and I know a little bit of coding, but okay. I would love to be able to be like, okay, this site is not working, this is why. Get into that backslash Co carrot yeah. world. world. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know, I'm not a big, like, technology person. 
Yeah, well, I'd like to learn how to have my computer go faster when it's going slow. That would be helpful. That would be really helpful. Like, Alex knows that stuff. He built my computer for me. Oh, maybe I should have him take a look at that. Yeah, he could be like, oh, your This ramp, is why it's going so slow. The, your motherboard. Is this a solid state? Those are just words he's used before. I don't know. I'm just regurgitating them to you. <laughs> What's the best wine you've ever tasted? Oh my gosh. This is a card for you. It is a card for me. And I answered this before in a video, but. Really? My, yes, yeah. Somebody <laughs> asked me what my favorite wine was, and I said, my favorite wine when my parents are buying or when I'm buying. That's a good like differentiator. Right. My favorite wine when I go to the store and buy it. And then that's even different than like at a restaurant because the restaurant marks it up like three times yeah. over. So I'm not going to buy the same thing in the store as I am as, at the restaurant. At home, yeah. My favorite wine that I've ever tasted is from Argentina. And it was a Cab and a Malbec blend in Argentina from a winery called Azul. Wow. I know. Very specific, but I love wine. The sweeter and more fruit flavored, the better. Like, if I don't know it's not juice, that's my favorite wine. Gross. I know. <laughs> Besides your family, who has known you the longest? My best friend, Lauren, who was my maid of honor. We've known each other, I think, 20 years almost now. And she still likes me, so... That's huge. That's a long so time. So I guess I don't know how to answer this because, like, there are... I have had a friend that I still talk to somewhat. Yeah. But, like, we're not best friends. They don't friends know like you, you guys. They don't they know don't me now. They don't know you. Yeah. Yeah, they don't know me now. Yeah. Um, Like, my godmother is not family. Yeah. So she is... I mean, she's been there since day one. Since and she's not related to me. Yeah. So... Maybe, like, negative days. Yeah. She's been there she is my mom. You. She's my mom's best friend's yeah. mom. Yeah. And she was, like, there for my mom. During pregnancy. Yeah. So negative, like, in time. Yeah. Yeah. What book would you like to see made into a movie? I would love to know how they would do the Slappy First series. Oh, my gosh. We were just talking about that last night. Yeah. I just think that would be cool. It's top of mind, like, how they would do this, like, that whole series. Because, like, what would the main, the guy look like? Because the way they describe him, if you haven't seen it, I'm making her link it below, the types of books. Um, but the main character, the guy, is very, like, they describe him very specifically. Yes. Yep. And in my mind, I don't think I portray it properly. So I'd be curious to see how Isn't that true for every book yeah. that gets turned into a movie? Like Hermione or Hermione or yeah. Hermione. Hermione. When, like when you actually heard those names, you were like, like, I was wrong. Is that how they say that? That is awkward. I can't even think of anything right now. Like, I don't know why I can't come up with a, a fiction book that I've read lately. Yeah. That could be turned. So, okay. This might be cheating, but the Michelle Obama book. Turn I would love movie. to see them turn that into a movie. And even if it's, like, have other people play. Yeah. I would as love, like, kids. a dramatized version. Yeah. That would be cool. Oh yeah. Gosh. I just love cool. I love that book. Would you choose to only need two hours of sleep each night if it meant you would die seven years earlier? I love sleeping. I love sleeping. I know, but I do you know what I could do with an extra five hours a And day? not needing to sleep. Yeah, like, would you take the time now and cut it off? And now what's funny is I'm reading a book about sleep, and the truth is if you, like, did that, you would die, like, seven years earlier. Like, that would, that is how it would work. If you get less sleep, it is scientifically proven that the, if you get less sleep, you're going to die sooner. So because, if you sleep a lot, does that mean you're going to live forever? I don't think that's how that works. I don't think that's how that works. But you, I'm sure I'm trying. I mean, but it is true. There is a, a correlation. scientific correlation between them. Um, but if nothing would... If but I, I also, literally was like seven years. That's it. That's the only thing. That yes, and I would not feel tired. I mean, that's like true. in like, that book is real life. If I only get two hours of sleep, I would feel not like function. Crap. Yeah. Right. But if I could only need two hours of sleep and function like I do on seven, eight, the uh, amount you could get done. Sign me up. Sign the me up for that. The amount of Netflix you could watch. <laughs> do you have a lucky number? Uh, I do. It is five because five. Gr so uh, nerd alert here. So. Growing up, you always, I don't know if you guys did this in school, but you had like a number that you were in the class. Like you were in, and that's, sometimes you would line up and it was yeah. always alphabetical by last name. Yeah. So you were probably always, no, because your maiden name is not Benda. It's Cornell though. Oh, so you were at the front. Yeah. So I was always number five, which makes sense because E is the fifth letter, but like I was always, always five. And then my birthday's on the 25th, which is five squared because I'm a math nerd. So yeah, five. Five is my lucky that's number. nice. I've always been 22 is the, my birthday, is yeah. the 22nd, so all my sports numbers and everything were 22. My but sister, like, that's my sister too. But I'm not like looking for it. 
No, me neither. Yeah. I'm not the same. Not making the decision. But if someone's like pick a number between one and ten, which I don't know, like five is halfway, but I yeah. always pick five. Or someone's like pick a number or whatever, yeah, I, I always five. pick five. Yeah. Woo. What permanent times would you set for sunrise and sunset if you could? Oh, I like this one. This is a fun one. I would love it to be bright. We, like, wake up with the sun. Yeah. Like, how very hippie of us. Let's go live in the forest and wake up with the but sun. But the sun rises at, at, like, six right now. It, yeah, so we do wake up earlier right oh. now. Okay. So, like, seven or eight, but then set at nine. Right. So you can do all that activities and sports and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm. it's not good for, like, the universe to be sunlight that yeah. long. But that is, I would actually have it come up earlier. I would want it to rise like, like, Alaska, five. it's always up. Yeah, but then you have to deal with the time that's always close, down. Close the blind. There's never a downtime. I set the time. Okay. It's always bright. It's always sunny in life. Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember about the babysitters you had when you were young? Oh. I never had a babysitter. So my, for the most... I was just a wild child. I was Wait, left to roam the baby? fields. I have an older sister. Oh. So... That's what my sister And my mom too. was in childcare, like she had her own childcare center. Oh. So I would just be there. So I don't remember anything. Yeah, for the most of it, it was my best friend's older brother. Yeah. Like he was the one that babysat. What us. do you remember about this? That he did not really care yeah. about what we did. And we would like, like, don't die. Yeah. And I, like, me and my best friend would like climb, they had this shed in their backyard. We would climb up to the roof and jump on the trampoline because, like, that was a good idea at the time. The 90s. Yeah. <laughs> and he just, like, wouldn't do anything. Where trampolines were not insurance problems. <laughs> yeah. Or there was one time that they, I don't know where all the parents were because it was, like, in the morning and we had a slumber party and he was still asleep because he was, like, a teenager and he was sleeping in. And me and my best friend decided to, like, just go for a walk in the neighborhood by ourselves yeah. at, like, Seven. I totally did that stuff. Like when we were like on like camping trips with my friends' families, we would just wander yeah. away. Like what? what? Who didn't teach you? You could be murdered. <laughs> There's enough true crime podcasts out there to teach you a lesson. That they we didn't learn those we lessons did not learn in the nineties. Well, this was fun. Yeah. I feel like I learned things about you. Yeah. And let us know down in the comments. Pick a question and answer one of the questions. I'm trying to yeah. think of what like the best one was. I don't know. Something fun. They were all good. Yeah, Just let pick, us know. Pick, pick one, one and answer a question. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Happy planning.